So this is what we'll be making today. No time waste. Let's go. Delete the default cube and delete the default light. Add a plane. Scale it by three times. Apply the scale by pressing Ctrl A. Tab into edit mode and subdivide the crap out of it. Now, add a subdivision modifier. Modifier now select the material that you want. I'm using Quicksilver Mega Scan assets here. Once you export them into Blender, just apply the material to the plane. And this is what it looks like. Looks like crap. That's okay. Let's add an HDRI to make it better. I'm gonna leave the link in the description, guys, so you can download it for free. And there we go. All right, yeah, that's no, that's a pretty good job. But you can make it look better. Go to modifiers and add a displace modifier. Now create new texture and go to the texture panel. Select the displacement map that you have with along with the material. It's usually a .exr file. Right click and shade it smooth and it looks kind of better but still crap. So let's go into the modifier settings. Set the strength to about 0 0.3. Increase the subdivision surface levels to make it look even better. That's not done yet. We're gonna go into shader editor and add a mapping node. Make sure it's on UV and connect the vector to all the vector nodes of each of the map. And now go to the displacement modifier and set the coordinates and change it from local to UV. And there you go. Freshly baked cobblestone. Nice. Now let's touch it up a bit. Let's go into the sculpt mode. Select the grab brush and turn off symmetry and just add some indentations on the road to make it look more organic. Just like that. A couple of spots here and there. Nothing too big, just keep it subtle. Now let's add some water. Just add another plane, scale it by three. And now we're gonna add a new material. Let's call it water, of course. Now select press G and move it up and down to adjust the water and how much you want it to show. This looks fine. Now go into Shader Editor and change the base color to something dark. Now I'm just going to increase the transmission to 1 and reduce the roughness to a really low value. And there you have it. Pretty good looking water. <laughs> yeah, boy. So what we're going to do is just duplicate it a couple of times to extend the street. We're going to select the middle one and rotate it by 180 degrees so people can't tell that you've cheated. Also, another thing that you can do here is reduce the subdivision levels for the planes in the back because they're not on camera as much. Trust me, your PC will thank you for this. Now it's time to add some walls to the street to make it look more natural. So I'm going to use some assets that I've downloaded from Quixel Assets. Download them, export them into Blender, and just place them to the side of the street. And now I'm going to add an area modifier. Just increase the count and make sure it fills up along the street. There you go. Now all you have to do is just duplicate it and place it on the other side. Let's add a brawler and a curb to fill up the scene. Once again, we're going to use the area modifier to put them across the street and fill it up. Like so. Now add some more walls at the end of the street to close it off. Just arrange the walls to fill up the scene and not have any empty slots. Once you arrange them properly, you'll get something like this. I added a sun lamp from the side and I gave it a strength of 2 with an orange color. Now to add some finishing touches, I have added this manhole cover on the street. All I've done is import the material and just put it on top of a circle. And there you go, an easy manhole. Now the street looks even better. I've added a camera on the street level with a focal length of 35 millimeters. And, and I've set the dimensions to 1920 by 817 to get the cinematic aspect ratio. Now go to render properties. Set the render samples to about 128, that's fine. And now, check the ambient occlusion. And Along with that, also turn on screen space reflections. There you go. Now it looks awesome. JJ Abrams would be proud, guys. 
Now we're just gonna make the final animation and make it look real nice. Nice and hot. So what I'm gonna do is go to the camera settings and I'm gonna turn on depth of field. And I'm gonna set the focus distance to 1.6 and f-stop to 1.2. Now I'm gonna press I at the first key, at the first frame and add a location keyframe. And I'm gonna hover my mouse on top of focus distance and I'm also gonna press I on that to add another keyframe. Now I'm gonna to go to the last frame. I'm just gonna press G and move it on the X axis and move it forward a bit. And now I'm just gonna press I again and add another keyframe for location. I'm gonna change the focus distance to something long like seven meters and just add another keyframe by pressing I on top of that. Select the keyframes, press T and select linear. And that's it, we're done, just like that. Go subscribe and leave a like to support the channel guys. Thank you and see you in the next one.